Good morrow, lovely people. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flowing cloud effect. Glass. We've got a depth layer. We've got Mac Cat. We've got Fresnel. It's all cooking. This is all inspired by uh, this. Got a question on Twitter being like, how can you make this 3D? You can make this 3D using Spline Tool. Open Spline Tool free account, then go to New File, get rid of that, click on this, bosh. Now we're going to turn this to a, actually let's turn this to a, like a nice purpley background. Now I'm going to get a cube, I'm going to make the cube very long and thin, okay? Let's just drag that right out there. So how do we make this really thin? Well, we can go to the y-axis and turn that to 1. Ooh, that is so thin. Uh, and then I'm actually going to make this a little bit narrower so that we kind of have like thin pasta strips, all right? So then what the hell do we do? We need to add loads of layers. So I'm going to go displace. I'm going to go displace. I'm going to go displace. Okay, so we're going to have three displacement layers. Okay, so we've got one that's simplex, two that's simplex, and the bottom one I'm actually going to change to ashima. This is going to give us our crazy flowing effect. Okay, uh, the scale I'm actually going to change right down for now, and I'm going to give it that. Now, all we need to do is click Smooth and Edit. Uh, and once we do that, I want to increase this to 5. And you're like, whoa, Jack, I've never increased the base subdivision to 5. I know, because this is madman territory. This is creating a crazy effect. And um, it means that we've got really smooth cloudy lines as we go along. You can't really see this though, so let's give it a few different other layers. Matte cap, ooh, bit of a flow there. I'm gonna change that to white chocolate. Then I'm gonna go down to uh, glass. Can't see it anymore, uh-oh. You can just change that to overlay. Ooh, we got a nice effect already. Then I'm gonna go to depth, 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 depth. Uh, I'm going to change this to linear, and I'm going to add some different uh, colors. Oh, I don't want red. I want that. I want that. I want that in the middle, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's get a nice bluey one. Let's get another bluey one, blue boy. Okay, nice. Uh, nice, all good. And then I'm going to actually change that to overlay as well. Whoa, we got a flow. Uh, let's just move those along so that it's not as bunched up. Nice. Okay. And the final one I'm actually going to do is a little bit of a rainbow. Uh, I'm going to change that to four. I'm going to change the noise to five. So now we've got a little bit of a a kind of glossy shine to it. You see, super subtle but super sexy. Me in a nutshell. Okay, it's not me at all. Um, now, we gotta animate this guy. I'm gonna go click this plus icon. We got base state, we got state, base state, leave. State, I'm gonna go down to here and I'm gonna whack this up to 20, okay? Movement, 20. On each of the different displacement layers, everybody. Then I'm going to go to plus on the events. Start, transition, base state to state. I'm going to give this 10 seconds. And I'm going to give it a linear movement. Let's see how this looks. Oof, that is so satisfying, isn't it? Got a kind of glossy effect. 
we've got a bit of a see-throughness. I might make it slightly more see-through, in fact. <clears throat> but you can then edit to your heart's desire, okay? You can then adjust these different uh, layers and really make something weird and wonderful. Um, let's check how that looks. Oh, mama, that looks so nice. Um, let's change this background to something a bit darker, a bit moodier. You see how the glass effect is really changing depending on the color of the background. So you know you can you can play around with this uh, depending on the scene that you're using this in. I actually use this for a um, for this um, jar. I did these like fictitious jars to to create something for my portfolio, as you do, as you do. And uh, yeah, had this quite cool effect in between the products, which just gave it that kind of elegance that just having the products alone might not have. So I recommend playing around with this, making sure that you put it into something that you think is appropriate, and um, and then yeah, do something cool with it. Tag me on Twitter at Jack Redley One. Or send it to me if you're having problems right in the chat below if you've got any other questions or anything else you want to see from me and i'll see you in the next tutorial ciao